What is going on guys and girls, my name is Ryan Gilfin. today we've got a few of the Inform Santa Cazola player review. As you can see we use a mini squad here at the left forward role. Before the video starts be sure to check out UT Coins View, a link to their website and everything else will be in the description below. As you can see we played 9 games with him, do not count 2 of those though so the record should be 7-4 and then we have the assists as well. As you can see here is his in-game stats. I actually managed to sell him before I actually recorded the in-game stats like the numpty I am. But as you can see there's some really outstanding stats there, you've got curve 94, free kick accuracy 94, ball control. 91. He's pretty decent wise, agility, balance, acceleration, that looks all okay. He actually felt a little bit slower than what those stats suggest. I don't know whether I was having an off day on FIFA or not, but the first two games were so laggy, every single player I used just seemed to feel slow. He's got 85 shot power, 90 short passing, 89 long shots. His shooting is definitely one of his better stats. 82 finishing as well. It felt a little bit higher than that to be honest with you. We're going to go into the clips now and the first clip we are going to go into is his pass He's very good at passing. He's got like five star weak foot, so as you'd expect, he can do through balls over the top with both feet. As you can see, a lovely ball to storage there, and I think he smashes it into the top corner. So that's one of his assists there, guys. He should have had a couple more assists, but as the ball gets played in, here is a perfect example. As the ball gets played in, oh, maybe it's another clip then, but there's clips like that where the ball gets played in, and it, a defender manages to just get a little nick on it, and it does still go to the intended person, but it doesn't go in like directly to them so the assist doesn't count on his record here is an example of one of them the defender brings it down although that was going to go to storage regardless so that should be another assist on his record but yeah anyway we're going to get on to um I'm going to actually talk about his positioning and I haven't got a lot of clips suggesting anything about his positioning because it's not something I wanted to record and put in. I just wanted to show you the main things which are his passing, his dribbling, his shooting, stuff like that, dead ball situations. But him as a left forward I really did not like. I didn't like him as a left midfielder, left winger. He is definitely the type of person that you would want to play in the middle of the pitch because he can do these through balls. Yeah, it's okay having him on the left so you can slot them through like that. but. I really really would prefer him in the middle because you can go on better runs with him in the middle. When he comes up against his left backs and right backs you usually get the ones that are like you know Abate, Piszczek, players like that that have got so much pace con compared to Kazala. This is what I mean by like dribbles in the middle of the park. You get people that are just you know daft with the tackles. I mean this is probably not one of the better examples because it, it, this guy must have been terribly bad but here's another example of dribbling. He does get a little bit lucky but the fast that skill moves, a little roulette, he's got very tight ball control and he absolutely smashes that into the top corner. I think if this was all in the middle he'd be so much better. I kept comparing him to a player that is similar to him. His normal card is a centre attacking mid. Santi Cazola's is a centre attacking mid. They both got informs, they're both on the left hand side. They've both got very similar price ranges as well. It is Samir Nasri. I kept comparing him to him and I just felt that Nasri was a little bit better for me. I don't know why. I don't know what it was about it. There's just... I don't know. I think maybe his physical stats were a little bit better. But they are very similar players. They've both got the skill moves. N uh, Nasri hasn't got 5 star weak foot but I don't know. I just preferred Nasri for some reason. I'm not saying Kazola is bad. It's just I preferred Nasri. Although, we did score some very nice goals with Kazola, as you can see, we've got a couple, this one is a brilliant example of his long shooting ability, look at that, straight into the top corner. So, I'm going to put his weaknesses down, his positioning, it, I don't like him on the left hand side, weak, he did get bullied off the ball quite a lot, pace, he's not the quickest, that's what I was saying about a Abate pitch check, absolutely owning him there. And his strengths, of course, are the dribbling, we've got the fact that he has great at passing and of course we've got his absolutely brilliant shot. Anyway guys, I'm probably going to give him a 7 out of 10 because I wasn't really his greatest fan. I know a lot of people do like him but I'm not a huge fan of his. Anyway, tonight we're going to have an absolutely huge squad builder. Over 1 million coins is about 1.3 million. If this video hits 300 likes, I will definitely upload that. If not, I'm going to upload it tomorrow. So it's up to you guys to get the likes on this video. If you do hit that 300 likes, it will be uploaded at around about 8 o'clock. If not, it will be the next day at about midday. Day. So guys, thanks for watching. If you are new around here, remember to subscribe for more FIFA 14 content and I will see you guys next time.